Yeah, well, there we go. That's our top six, and the climbing will start. And let's have a look at our 3D boulder. So, Alana, this was the running start you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a little more overhanging than it initially looks. Yeah, so there it starts with the blue lines indicating a limp. You then run across the volumes to quite a good zone jug, but stopping that barn door, the swing to the left is going to be hard. And then after the zone, you have to get yourself into a kind of corner position and either jump for that zone or stretch for it. And that top is actually in a different position from that diagram. Uh, yeah, the top's further up on the hold now, eh? Yeah. So you have to get yeah, your body a lot higher in order to catch that. I think the root setters want them to jump on that. Yeah, I think so too. So, so sort of from the zone hold, swing to the left and then step your right foot up onto the hold just beside the zone hold. Propel yourself up to the finish hold of that. Propel yourself, I like that. <laughs> Propulsion methods. All right, here's Johanna on this first run and jump. Quite close. Straight away looked at her hands, but she'll be back on the wall immediately. It sometimes takes a couple of goes to get these kind of moves down. Yeah, sometimes it, yeah, it takes a bit of learning for these coordination moves. Oh, interesting, she tried such different beta between her first and second. The first, she started with crossed feet and she tried to catch the zone and stop her swing with her left hand on the whole, the yeah, big black and yellow volume. And the second time, she started uncrossed and tried to kick. All right, let's have a look. She's uncrossed again. Got two hands oh. fully on the zone. Yeah, then. that was close. But I think she uh, almost just needs to get like a little bit higher and hit everything more precisely. She keeps kind of switching her foot beta. On that third attempt, she tried to kick the big black and yellow foothold uh, with her right foot instead of her left. Nice. And the further out you can kick it, the probably less swing you'll have. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Almost perfect from Johanna. Um, she'll be able to control it better. Let's see what she does. She's got plenty of time left on the clock. And the thing is, someone else will turn up and do this and make it look so easy. It's an irritating thing with a run and jump like this. Yes. But there we go, right. So first time we get to see the moves and she's got time as well. Oh, there's another crimp up there. Didn't see that. With her right, oh yeah, there's a jibs. Yeah. It's slopey, I think. Oh. That's a big, now there's a lot of uh, rubber on the, the blob by the zone hole. Yeah, just to the left of the yeah, zone Yeah, which hold. I thought they were gonna have to stand on. But That's what I thought too, but it, she looked actually pretty close, except for the final hold is an underclang. And dual text if you grab it on the top, so I don't know. Oh, she's got that down now. Well, we'll get to see it. See, that's the hole by her left knee she could stand on, but she goes for the huge jump. I mean, if someone gets that, it would be pretty spectacular. Yeah. But it's not going to be Johanna Faber. She leaves. It's time for Osh McKenzie. Who has a crazy following on social media, like fanatic fans, I've found. <laughs> a lot of them messaging me, which is great. But... Uh, yeah, They're messaging you? Yes, to say how proud they are of her, which is incredible. Oh. I know. Gosh. Wow. Whoa. That was different. Oh, very different. That's one of my favorite things, to see people do the same move in completely different ways. All right, she sets up for the big jump. Oh, into oh. a press. Oh, oh, oh almost got it. That looks like it makes more sense. You just swing into the press and then bring the right foot up maybe onto the blob. Yeah, I wonder if you could swing into the press, but it, she kept her hand on the right hand on the zone hold. I wonder if she could flip it on that little jib at the same time. Yeah, that's a good point. That was a long look up at that last couple of holds. Wow, such a spectacular move. Okay, she's aiming for those pan prints you can see underneath. Oh. Oh. So she's kind of flipping into the zone. Yeah, still trying to press on that zone. All right, she's back on in that cross position with the feet. Just love she it. makes it look so easy, it's so cool. <laughs> that karate style sweep Ooh, with the right leg underneath. Here, look at her pressing up. She just goes statically and looks uh, better. No problem. And look, so much easier when you don't leap. <laughs> <laughs> so the boulder's one leap and one non-leap. Yes. Ayala Karem, just 21. And I love watching Ayala climb. She's just 
it's great to watch. Yes. That was the worst description of why someone's good at what being <laughs> watched. Why is she good, Matt? Oh, she's just great. But she has this, like, uh, like this power with it. Very emotional as well. She tries so hard. I think you can see it, yeah. it on her face. Just like Stasha, in a way. Yes. And I do enjoy watching an athlete just give it everything. But oh. Ayala will fall off the <laughs> solid as I say that. Little smile but, on her face. Yeah. Little embarrassed smile there. Yeah. I but, think her hand just popped off. I think it's okay like that. Oh, just trying it. So she goes, that's probably the most obvious way to do it. Mm -hmm. And then catching with the left hand. Foothold slash hold that Osh was just pressing on with her hand to catch the zone. So, oh, to me, looking at that, I would immediately try to put my hand on it. Okay. So when you, when you as an athlete go out to a bowl like this, are you looking for those hidden signs, like thumbprints and things like that on the wall? Yeah, I mean, a massive amount of chalk is a huge sign that you're supposed to be grabbing that with your hand, not your foot. But also, you know, on a boulder like this, there's a lot of different ways to do it. And it's really just about committing to one. A massive one. It was, uh, yeah, like, yeah. It was like a in cartoon print. Yes. yes, exactly. But there's other ways oh. to... Oh, here we go. She's in. A little scramble with the feet there. Oh, and she right away goes for the press. All right, so pushes upwards. Slow with the fingers. Now is stood up. And from here, it should be simple. And nice. it is... Well, nice end to that boulder. It's all kind of done once you figure it out. It's a, it's a real mm -hmm. problem of a boulder problem for Stashigeo to come out. So, yeah, second finals in a row for Stasha. Her best result was a bronze medal a few years ago now. Well, I'm not sure what you call that, but it worked. <laughs> <laughs> she almost fell down the crack between the two blocks there. Reaches out. Look at this from Stasha. This is her oh. flash attempt. Uh, oh. It looked like she was really in a hurry to get yes. somewhere after the boulder. <laughs> Stasha gave me a heart attack there, but it is a quick send. Not the cleanest World Cup boulder you'll ever see. Uh, no, but she made it work, and that's what's most important. Okay, well, there she is. You said she'd be waiting nervously because although the athletes, they can't see the score, they can hear the audience. Yeah, and she'll know. I'm, I mean, I'm not sure if it was nerve-wracking or maybe comforting to know that it's possible to flash this coordination. I've heard both arguments for that one. It's. But she'll know that Stasha did it first try. There's no way it took her more than one try in 30 seconds. And Stasha will presumably come back into the ISO, not quietly either. So. <laughs> And That's, with a big smile on well, her Well, that's face. what I mean. Like, you're going to tell. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think she's going to come in shouting and screaming, obviously. I think I meant, yeah, the smile. <laughs> Facial. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is her second attempt. Third attempt. She has quite an interesting starting foot sequence. So she pulls back on again and does change it a bit. So quite an important boulder, this one, or it could yeah, be. Yeah, just to keep pace with the field. Yeah. Oh, nice. Same method, two hands, stop the swing. And now she does the Stasha style wrap and press. <gasps> oh, so it's not over. Everybody else is just really good at pressing. Uh, sooner to stabilize. Um, you saw Ayala have to go a lot slower to sort of stay balanced. Yeah, that's a good point. But I'm sure she knows now. Oh, she's turning that hold. Not yeah. happy on it yet. Oh, she's going <gasps> to... Second and miss it. But it's a long way for it. She's got that down, mate. Oh, smart. Oh, no, 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 slow, 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 slow. <gasps> oh, much closer. She'll want to go again, yeah. Yeah, so she brought the left hand to the blob that time. Yeah, that was smart. Get her body further to the left so that the press feels better. Come on, come on. Here she goes, so same way, nine seconds. No. Oh, right hand just falls off. All right, so no top, Chenzo. Just a zone. 
she qualified in first place. She's been in this position more than a few times. <laughs> And she had this comeback in Salt Lake City because she had the beginning of the season that was slow. She got mm -hmm. an injury and then Salt Lake was this return of Natalia, which was awesome to see. She was happy, she was smiling, she looked relaxed. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was an interesting hand sequence she tried to do. Yeah, look at the two palm prints <laughs> left. Oh, that would be really cool if she caught that. I wonder if she's going to try it again. Oh, look at those hand prints. That's where she was before. Just caught in two minds, that. <laughs> wow, big swing into it. She blows the chalk off that hold, and then she's going to start rocking up as well. Pressing, pressing. Yeah, you're right about the slow press from Shea, and she could have done that a little differently, I think. And Natalia. Nice. <laughs> So that's how the leaderboard looks at the moment. Stashigo with a flash, Oceana McKenzie in second place, and Natalia Grossman in third. Then Ayala Karem, Shianso, and Johanna Farber. We should just clarify, Natalia is in third despite the, the scores looking the same because attempts to zone. Uh, Osha's ahead. Uh, this is women's oh, two. Big toe hook start here. Yeah, so what do you think? So toes where it says start? No toes on the other one. The, okay, the right so both hand hands one. on the start and hold toes down low. Yeah, and then into that little flappy jug on the um, the volume. And wow, look at all these pinches. Yeah, there's a few options through here, and I watched a few people do it different ways when the root set is before running. It seemed to be not too bad once you got to the zone. It's just kind of keeping it together. Mm, and probably committing to something. Yeah. yeah. Right, Famous then. last words. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's always the way. Just like we said about the last boulder. Yep. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't learned this by now. Whatever we say, people should bribe us to say the wrong thing just so people will fall off. All right, Johanna pulls on. We're going to her home gym in Innsbruck next week at the Kletter Centrum. It's a good hold her right hand's on. And it's going to be a big swing. Oh. Yeah, and that hold, the, the hold she's going to with the X on it, that's, uh, it's not a jug, it's not a, a big hold. I mean, it is a big hold, but it's not very good. So core intensive start with both toes up. Oh, doesn't look like the easiest toe hook to get in. No, she's tried a few different things. That's oh, she needs to start the boulder. Does she realize that? Start it with the correct number of limbs on each hold, I mean. That's why that um, heel hook method. Having to kind of like twist to get around the corner a little bit. So she gets the right hand sunk in, looks at the hold she's going for. Oh. That was better though, when she really sort of focused. That was close, just a tiny bit higher with that left foot, and I think she'll have it. All right, here she goes, toes in again. Left Ooh. hand. Yeah, I mean, you'd, ha you'd have to match, you'd imagine. He hasn't touched the zone yet. Goes with the right hand this time. You can see that was a good angle to show how much core tension, how much it's kind of ripping you in half when you make that move as you come around. Like mm -hmm. it's just to get the right foot drilled in and staying is it's a tough move. So hard. She's given so many attempts too. Right, once more, Johanna. Oh. I think that could be it. <laughs> that was a good effort. I mean, you nearly got sunstroke, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't really remember what happened because <laughs> I overheated. <laughs> kind of like, like electronics, you know? If I overheat, I just stop working. Exactly. No one's ever described my brain like electronics. Maybe <laughs> I should for now. On. It's just a short circuiting problem. All right, Osh McKenzie right. comes up. Come on, Osh. Yeah. Ooh. 
here she comes again, this briefest of touches on that starting hole. Ooh, wow. wow, I was able to span it. And that's why you should stretch, ladies oh. and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the okay, swing was so still savage, but she had a foot on, and that yeah. made all the difference. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no. no. Right, she pops, but she thinks she knows. Yeah, I, I didn't really see it until you mentioned it, because it was this angle that, but look, there, you can see, yeah. insane. <gasps> but yeah, the swing was still really brutal. Yeah. And then this, you can't really rest on this hole, because the left foot is so bad. <laughs> you can hear the support. Mm -hmm. She makes the span again. Now watch this right leg. <sighs> Super powerful. Come on. Up to the sloper. Oh, nice and controlled. Come on. Still not on the zone. Uh, now she is. We've oh. got to use it. Yeah, she definitely. Yeah, that counts now. Oh, elevated Ooh. door style. Nice. And there are lots of options, and she looks come like on, she might on, fall here. Oh. So I can announce that it's raining, <laughs> but it's not <laughs> in any way going to affect the wall. That was but a fantastic shot from everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the wall is sheltered, so we should be okay. Yeah, very sheltered. Uh, definitely won't get wet unless there's crazy wind. Oh. Oh. Burning oh, out. I think she's done. Has a look at this boulder. I keep meaning to ask her what happened to her right leg. She's been taped like that for a while. Sometimes oh, it's like it's a preventative thing, maybe. Uh, I think she had an ankle injury, like a rolled ankle. Okay. A while back. Could be wrong. Oh. Mm-hmm. Osh did a really good job being able to, like, first of all, being able to span. Um, with her height and leg length here, but also hip mobility was incredible. Yeah, you can see, I was trying to imagine Ayala bringing her left foot up in control onto that hold, and you're right, it's, it was a crazy feat of strength. That's the toe hook. Onto the good hold, but you can see it's just... I think Osh and Stasha are the two tallest in the field, and I... I don't think Stasha typically likes stretching that, like, she stretches, sorry, like she does yeah, <laughs> stretching, no, no, no. but she's not uh, the most. They'll have to do it the slightly more dynamic way, like Ayala is trying here. Yeah, and she's getting close, she's getting the left foot where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. But still, the swing is just a little bit too much for her holder right now. Ooh, okay. She goes with the left. <gasps> Generally, that, that hold looks pretty good. I think they'll be able to pretty easily match it. She goes up with the left again. Let's see. Oh, nice. And now she matches it there. Oh, yeah. See? Easy. Most people are pretty good at matching. Yeah, and it is a good hold. <laughs> All right, come on, Ayala. All right, she stood up, but still whole body engaged on this. Oh, oh. whoa, other hand than Osh did. Sticky. It looks so bad. It does. She matches, though. What is that left foot on wow. pressing underneath? I really thought she was... <gasps> She's got get the, the toe. Zone, get the zone. Okay. All right, that's the zone. She needs to use it. Look for the score to be updated. Look at that foot. Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> she did everything. <laughs> that, what an effort there. And she's going straight back on. Which probably she has to do with the time, but mm -hmm. surely she won't have the energy. Yeah. Nah, I don't think she has. Well, it was a good attempt. She found footholds where there were none. <laughs> and determined look on her face. This looks like her kind of boulder. It does. I just, it also looks like a boulder that would massively frustrate her if she doesn't get it. So it's one of those, like, oh, yeah. you know, it could drive you insane, this thing. Oh. Okay, no, I was so wrong about that. So she comes into the left hand, wraps her whole right hand in a pinch around it. 
to really good footwork, actually, using the volumes from Stasha. This is strong stuff from Stasha. <gasps> well, that was, she won't know it, but that was a good first attempt. All right, Stasha goes again, made this look easy before. So when you watch other athletes struggle with a move, it actually makes you appreciate how hard it <gasps> is. But Oh no, her foot slipped. Yeah, big pop there. All right, here Stash goes again with a minute 10 on the clock. Up to the right hand, gets the left foot so easily now, just reaches casually through, but this is where she has to work. Up on the pinch. Twisting her whole body around to get on that good right foothold. Oh, it's going to be skin intensive as well. I don't know if she knows there's a guy with a microphone right there <laughs> next to her. All right, Stasha, last chance, 19 seconds. She's got to be so quick. Twists around, 10 seconds coming up. The buzzer will go soon. Gets the twist, six. No way. No way oh. is it going to be enough, and she's got the zone. But oh, what could have been, look. Yeah, that was the goes, other way. Yeah, for the double. More dynamic around the corner. So there she is, coming over with a big South Korean team. Her teammate, Do Yun Lee, won in Prague his first World Cup win last week. And he looked good qualifying in first position for the men as well. So exciting yeah. to see Team Korea <gasps> doing well. Look at that catch. Wow. Strong fingers there. Yeah. Has the thumb on the dual text, reaches up. Making this look easy at the moment. Oh, just chalking up on that <laughs> bad thing. Oh, yeah. All right, she's through into the pinches, looking very in control. She's going to try this uh, shoulder move. And yeah, she's going to pop out to the right matches. Oh, look at that drop knee. Oh. Really deep, but gets the pinch, furthest of anyone. Yep, a high point. Big slap again, one away from the top. Look at that. Well, we said she needed to nice. pull it back a bit, and she has. Wow. The flash, too. Dropping her chalk back for the first time, all competition, because she knew she couldn't chalk up during a boulder because it was just too physical. <laughs> and like sometimes you get lead climbers sticking to their chalk bags. You know, they want it at all costs. Yes. What boulder did she do that on? It was the yellow and blue one. It was like very powerful. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. And she'd always wanted, and the last one she was like, nope, <laughs> it's gone, don't need it. Sadly, didn't help her get it. And she isn't in the finals tonight, but always strong from Annie. Look at this one, Look, heel in, easy to the top. No problem. Oh, wow, almost halfway already. I know, it goes quick, doesn't mm -hmm. it? I like this format, splitting the men and women's. It just allows you to focus on one thing. Yeah. My, I tend to forget the first finals by the time I get to the second finals by the end of the evening, and it's such a shame yeah. not to just sit and enjoy the moment. Yes, very true. All right, here's Natalia, gets the toe in. And she'll know she so flash this. Oh, that method. Oh. Oh. And then campusing it in for Natalia. Powerful beater from her. She chalks up as well. Alana, it's a jug, clearly. Oh, of course. <laughs> right into the elevator door. Matches so far in control. First oh. slap. To get the Good heel sound in. There. <laughs> And another flash. Easy. Wow. Well, that jumps her back up to the top of the leaderboard, and our competition flips again. We get some confirmation of that now. And there we go. Two tops, just four attempts. She's in the top spot, followed by Stasha Geo, followed by Shen So, then Osh McKenzie after that, then Ayala Karem, and then Johanna Faber. Tell him where the next hold is and what I think the beta is that he should do. <laughs> Amazing. Well, do go and watch the paraclimbing comp. It is brilliant. 
and that will be broadcasted free on YouTube, so you can check it out. Right, this is the slab. We saw the root set a chat about it. Low start, and then you stand up into a press. Dynamic stand up into that press, yeah. Yeah, Ooh, and then just with a little extra helper jibs there. Yeah, there's a couple screwed in, and then that, there's that middle hole that's a very sharp horizontal crimp to the zone, and the zone is right underneath the top, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Must mean that's a pretty awkward kind of, yeah, awkward or hard, sorry, hard move to get there. Yeah. I find this quite funny because they've made a slab out of a section that isn't that slabby. Like just there's a slab next to it. It stacks and stacks and <laughs> yeah. stacks of volume. I think someone could have just gone, guys, have you seen the slab next door? We could just uh, <laughs> could use that. But they really wanted to put all of the volumes on the wall, That's not just true. two or three. You've got to spend the budget, otherwise it won't give you the same amount <laughs> next year. It's important. Right, <laughs> off your Hannah goes. So she starts low. And this big move up into the press. Oh. Yeah, she's trying to crimp those holds. I mean, they're more slopers than anything. Mm -hmm. But the thumb part would be really bad. Oh, Static oh. up with the left. There you go. Got to make sure that left foot doesn't pop. She's in. <laughs> okay, now somewhere in here there's a triple jump. Bump her left foot up, yeah. I think she's got a match there. I think yeah, she probably she wants to get slow to the next little crimp. And then, then the triple jump, maybe? I guess so, yeah. Well, we'll see. That's her left hand. She's got the right hand locked in. Ooh. Yeah, a little foot swing here, probably. And She's standing on... Where the volumes join, there's quite a good edge, but she doesn't quite get the jump. Only a zone so far. Much better up with the left this time. And with the right. She had a, almost a fall before. Grays the left foot and now brings this match in. So far, same beater as before. Her right foot really as far as it can be out on that volume. That's how small it is, half a pad. Gets nice. the jump, all right, which is into the zone and is one away from a top. But it's another one of those stand up and hope moves. Oh, no, rock on the heel. Mm. Oh, with the corner? Nice. Good climbing for Johanna. Oh, after a bit of a pause, he's out. Now she approaches, puts the towel down to make sure her feet are clean. Starting smear isn't great, you just need to be on it pretty briefly until you stand up. She immediately goes for the slow, one-handed, clever. And then brings a toe in. Yeah, just enough so that she can get her right hand, release her right hand from the start hold. My right, face pressing against the wall as she gets the crimp. Locks it off. Oh, yes, she doesn't want to move away from the left. Um, good. Good poise. All right, a long reach up with the left. Right foot on the bottom volume looks secure. And now she has to commit to this big move. Oh, closer. So quite a physical boulder it must be on the first couple of moves. Yeah, yeah. Like some of them slabs aren't that powerful. But I think this is a lot. Gets that toe in well, out with the right foot. Holding so much body tension. Gosh. Yeah. Oh, oh, no! She was a bit messy with the feet, but came close. Oh. Sunk into the jug. I don't think you could be that much any closer without no, sticking no. it. Oh, no. We went almost around the corner trying to hold the swing. Right, she's got 28 seconds. It's enough time. She looks so solid through this first section now. There's the micro crimp. God, Every time you can oh hear no. the slip with the microphones, yeah. it's so good. Yeah, well done, team. They've Makes upgraded it that the mics. much more heartbreaking, I actually. <laughs> that. Twenty-one hundred sixty-three centimeters, fifty-seven point four eight percent top ratio in finals. 
So that's the top ratio for in final As only? I said that, I, I realized I didn't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a good question. We've been wondering about it. Yes, about I that. have too. Uh, I will find that out. I'm pretty sure it, it, it's every comp. It's, sorry, it's every round. Oh, wow. But I may have made that up, so we'll see. Anyway, Ayala stretching up. That immediately goes for that slow beta. And the heel in underneath. Very nice. Makes the match look good. I like how we speak a lot quieter when they're climbing the slab, as if it makes a difference, as if they can it hear does. us. It definitely does. <laughs> I hold my breath for him sometimes. Well, she looks ah. stuck on the wall here. Oh. <laughs> All right, here she goes again. Definitely the left stretch up seems to work the best. And then the heel to steady. And that right toe patch getting worn in now, lots of rubber. All right, into the crimp, gets the foot set up and looks a bit more positive this time. Oh, just a bit too slow of moving her right hand to the zone there, I think. Uh, well, the hands aren't great, so you can't swing quite as aggressively as you would be able to if they were jugs. Uh, and also, I don't think she needs too much side-to-side -side momentum. Well, let's yeah, watch she that needs again. to be a bit faster off that. Intermediate hold, I think. Yeah, because this is the wind up. She gets set here and then a bit of a kick with the right leg. Ah, oh, much better. <sighs> well, that's the zone. She's just got to figure this out now. Gets the heel, reads it well. Oh, shouldn't no drop it. Good top for my Ella. <laughs> Some relief there, for sure. Oh, she's in contention at the moment for a podium place. So this is a very important boulder for her. If she figures out the start quickly, I think she'll like this boulder. Oh, easily in. Makes the match, hits the crimp. But really, it's this move, this jump. Toe oh. hooking. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Well, Stash is on four. <laughs> that contact strength just was never letting go of that zone hold. Oh, 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 oh no, 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 no. Oh, this <laughs> could be risky, though, and it is. She saves it by oh, dropping it's a down. Jug, so she can save it, yeah. Right, nice heal up, Stash. Okay, there we go. Okay, oh, all right, okay. that's the top. Little dynamic still, but she, she, she was lucky it was a jug uh, by dropping yeah. back down onto it. <laughs> Whew, Anything right. worse than she would have been off. Yeah. Wow, so that's two flashes for Stasha. First boulder and this boulder. Yeah, this is interesting stuff there coming into women's four. We've still got two climbers to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the move she was never letting go of. Had a toe right around the corner, though. Yeah, she also caught it with her arms quite bent. In a very a strong position. It, more easily able to control it. That was the top, and uh, yeah, good job. Okay, Chenso comes out. Well, this was the start of the flash fest in the last boulder, so let's see what she can do. Pulls up, stretches up easily with the left hand, thumb underneath. Slowly across. Oh, oh well read. Also very easy. Very smooth looking. Straight to the oh. heel, into a top. All right. <laughs> Well, this is okay. 
It's like a slow build-up to every ball and then just gone yeah. a couple of athletes' time. Another flash from Shen So. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't in Brixton. And we missed her presence. Prague. Sorry, Prague. Yeah, that one. <laughs> she does <laughs> appear to be in Brixton. Yes. I'm fairly certain. But yes, is that her? I don't know. <laughs> Matt goes mad on her. But yeah, she wasn't in Prague. And Brooke's not here for Team USA. But Kyra did well in the semis. Stand up. Yeah, oh, yeah, Kyra did really well. Came out first and flashed the first boulder in a very dominating fashion. Oh, oh, the reach was a bit too far for her. Did you see what she did with her feet on the volume when she was swinging? She actually put her left foot on the, not the furthest out volume, the top of the stack. She put it on the next stack down, which will not be as good. I wonder watch. if she's going to do that again. Yeah, let's have a look. So she didn't match feet where her right foot is. She crossed her left foot to somewhere else. Yeah, like here. Oh, yeah, she's totally different body position. Oh. Oh, oh, it slides down the wall. Yeah, rather than her body being straight up and down when she's swinging, she's already a little bit of an, at an angle with her feet ahead of where her upper body is, I think. Tiny bit. And it, also, falling off a jug just must be the worst <laughs> feeling. You know what I mean? I know it's a terrible position, but being like, how? How yeah. can I not be holding this thing? Very frustrating. Right, out to the crimp. Crosses the left in. <sighs> just hands sliding down at every time. Her left hand, yeah, just starting to slide almost immediately when it hits. Well, this is really going to change things. But she's got plenty of time. Oh, yeah. Oh, again, though. She has got lots of time, but you just get that feeling that she's... It looks a little bit like she's starting to worry because she's tried it many times without any rest. Yeah, pulled on there almost before the brushes had even left the boulder. Yeah. Out to the crimp. <gasps> Again, the oh, same so position. So close. Oh, she keeps going. And it is going to start to get to her, this, in terms of fatigue. It's not that physical, but it takes something out of you. Crosses through. Oh, now she. Oh, she just. Yes, so she's figured it out that time. Okay, now she's just got to chill, get the heel in, uh, make the reach through. <laughs> okay, well, she had a bit of a moment, but found a method and changed the feet. Yeah, that was interesting how such a small change of foot position actually made a huge difference there. Mm. Three tops, three zones. She's back in the top spot, followed by Stasha, followed by Shenso, Ayala Karem, Oceana McKenzie, Johanna Fava. That is our top six. The order can change. Podium will have to wait. And you get this beast of a boulder. There it is, starting down low. Big press up there. And into another press. <laughs> yeah, and that pocket, I mean, you know holds like the back of your hand. Is, is, is it, do you think it's deep pocket, not so deep? Uh, I think it's pretty good. So but it is slightly overhanging a wall. And you're coming out of an awkward press position, so I don't think it'll feel that great. Right, Johanna Faber's out. See if she can change things up on the scoreboard. Facing oh. out. When in doubt, face out. <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> I hate facing out no, usually. No, no. Root Setter told me that. Oh, really? I believe you. <laughs> right, into the pocket. And it's not oh. too bad, but... Even if it is a good pocket, what you have to hold off of it would be crazy. Yeah, and the angle's weird. But they really wanted your left hand in there because of that thumb catch, you see. The little blue thumb catch on it. Oh, and there it is, yeah. Johanna really doesn't want to do that. And that would be a lot of swing to hold. Yeah. But instead, Johanna wanted to get her right hand on the pocket and control the swing with the press, which is probably harder, but less body movement, body swing to control. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, no, that pocket's actually really bad. That's not the pocket I thought it was. <laughs> That's why they had to put a thumb catch on it. 
Okay, so it's so bad he just needs an extra bit. Well, she's not using that thumb. Okay, so she's trying to bring the left hand through and press against it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think getting your right hand on that blue hold to swing around will be the way. Like kicking with your leg as well as being able to press. Yeah, yeah. Like this. Oh, that's the thumb wrap. I mean, she knows that's there. She must have figured out it's the way. But Yeah. It looks so awkward to grab it, though. Yeah. I mean, maybe she thinks it's a foot for later. She's got the thumb on it. You're not sure if that's going to be it. You're hoping there's another way because it seems very intense. Yeah, anything to avoid doing the, the horrible thing. And honestly, once you're backwards and you're all turned around, everything is confusing. Yeah, absolutely. Or is that just me? It no, could no, just be me. This is everyone. <laughs> right, she's crimping. Better is just a lot to hold. And yeah. she's done. Natalia's to win at the moment, but anything could happen. Osh McKenzie comes on. Nodding away, looking at the moves. Right, two feet on, brings it up into this spider-like position facing the audience. She gets the thumb catch involved. Nasty thumb catch, that. Oh. Also wants to try to control the swing before moving the hand. Nasty getting the thumb is. It looks like you're gonna break your wrist. It's not like that when you're moving through it. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you put your hand in there and you only get the thumb catch as you move, maybe that would help, but yeah. Yeah, very twisty there on the, on the wrist. <gasps> well, that's how it's meant to be done. <laughs> Into the sloper, brings the left foot up. Should get the zone easily. And now this move can be done a few ways. Uh, that intermediate in the middle is just a ripple of a hold. There's an edge on it. A ripple of a hold. <laughs> That's the ripple. She's got the heel. She's going to go statically, as <gasps> is possible. And a match. Oh, nice. Brilliant. Well, once she got that first physical move, she cruised through the rest of it. Here she is running on. Has a look around the corner. Immediately faces out towards the audience. They've all read it like that. She's got the thumb catch in. That's going to commit to this in a sec. Oh, does oh. it static? Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> I didn't look bad. Wow. That was a lot of body tension to hold there. <laughs> Pressing really hard up into the hand. Big move up to the zone. She still looks fresh. Slightly different method than Oge here. Yeah, not the heel yet. Pulls herself through the crimp. She's got to get something with that left toe or foot. Yeah, she's figuring out we can't see. Well, that's how close she is. Left hand through, hasn't got the reach. That right hand just on the crimp. She now has the heel. Slaps with the right, needs to match with the left and does. Wow. That was pretty cool with the left hand press. Yeah, flash. Left hand press uh, as she slapped to the top hole there. It's like just out of control for a second and managing to hold it. I'll call her it till it annoys her, but she's on stage. And leaderboard tight at the top. Stasha currently sitting in bronze. And there's the leaderboard down the bottom. Yeah, really tight here. Ella Karem in the first position, provin provincial? Provincial. That's not the word, you know what I mean? 
Then Natalia Grossman, then oh. Stasha. Oh, trying to figure this out. Oh, pressing super hard. Oh, misses the slap. All right, here she goes. She's thinking about going in. Changes to go out again. So Stasha pressing up underneath. Hooks in the left. Great shot there from the oh, cameras. Is she going to spin the other way? Oh, I think she's no. thinking about it. She's thinking about everything on this round. I think this is the experimentational round. Yeah, and I'm sure this position just looks like it feels so improbable of what to do. Oh, she wants to crimp it, doesn't she? And she's got it locked. But this next move then becomes... Oh. Doubling to that hold would be so hard. Yeah, like, I mean, just holding it. And I don't know how many attempts. Okay, she's taken two attempts so far, but she has quite a few, I think eight attempts to be able to pass Ayala. Wow, so this is super important for Stasha now. She's got time to do <gasps> it, and she does stick it this time. Third go? Okay, come on, Stasha. Let's go. Left foot in the pocket, bumps the left hand into the zone. Has she got something in the tank with a minute 28 to go? If you're a Stasha fan around the world, stand up, because this is massive for her. Crimp to come, locks it off. She needs to go something with the left <gasps> toe, Catches she the does. Toe. Well, that's a big, big moment. <laughs> <laughs> She's down on herself, but look at the scoreboard. Up on the top spot for Stasha. What colour is it going to be? That was the catch, just holding on. Three fingers in the pocket. And the pinch. And finally the top. And watch the left toe, because look, it just catches at the right moment. <laughs> look at her just... <laughs> Yeah, that's, that says it all, really. Thank you, Stasha. Like, oh, so dumb. I should have done that earlier. <laughs> it actually wouldn't. But, uh, it actually could have made a s slight difference. All right, Shen so on. Yeah, Shen Su uh, flashed two boulders and has a zone in six. So if she does this in two, first or second attempt, I believe she'll beat Stasha. Okay. We'll and the golden rule of a stream is never do math on a stream. Exactly. So. Well, the graphic is telling us Silver needed to top in two attempts. Oh, that's what I just said. Amazing. There we go. You're quicker than the computer. <laughs> I'd never doubted you. But she's straight away into the sloper, left foot in the pocket. Bumps up to the zone. Right foot up, rocking, making this look easy. She's static into it. She'll have something engaged on the left. Needs to match, oh, she nice. does. Bang on the wall, and that jumps her up the leaderboard <laughs> over Stasha. Oh. <laughs> wow, She's so that career... Uh, best, you said, for her was fifth before? Yeah, best place, fifth, yep. All right, so her first boulder medal. Not sure what she was frowning at then. I think it was the clock not moving. <laughs> All right, so she just needs to top this, and she will walk away with another gold. And if not, a bronze. Not a bad position to be not in. Not bad, eh? <laughs> but she will be disappointed with anything but gold. Here she goes, into the pocket, wraps the thumb, Ooh. slaps. Right, no one has dropped it from this position so mm -hmm. far. Up to the zone, big kick through, a little knee scrub on the hand. Easily in. Oh, not quite sure what to do with that toe. Yeah, it's okay. not in yet. Oh, does I she even get anything with that I think the toe must be there. Yeah. Well, Natalia Grossman wins in Brixen.
with three minutes left on the clock, a flash of the final boulder. And she is clearly in form at the moment and she will go to Innsbruck. And once again, people will be talking about her versus Janja and Oriane and Brooke and Hannah Moyle. It's, it's, there's just, and all those women on stage. Yeah. The women's comp is so good at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The field is really deep. It's, it, it's crazy. It's crazy, isn't it? It's so good. Stasha gets a medal. Confusion there. Yeah. Stasha, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was a bit worried someone's going to take her bronze away for a sec there. <laughs> so a medal for Stasha. Good work from her. <laughs> I think it's beginning to sink in for her. She so will be very happy coming to the stage with a smile. She's very happy. Oh, so good. She was disappointed in Korea, and then Natalia Grosser comes out to the stage. She will get the gold. Alana, you've got to go and interview her. I do. I totally forgot. Right, you head to the stage. Okay. Best of luck. I'll see you in a bit. Okay. So there are our top three. And Alana will be making her way down. And they do do the flower toss. We haven't seen that in a bit. 